At our arrival in Gerona, it wasn't difficult to understand that this is an agricultural community. In fact, rice was literally everywhere. The first stop was at the Climate Resiliency Field School, one season school for farmers where they can learn how to use climate data, farm advisories and how to diversify their incomes. Once a week, they collect weather data, analyze it in groups and then meet to present their plans of action for the week. The question is, where do they collect the localized climate information? This localized climate information becomes very specific to the municipality. It provides more precise information. Herona is the first site of Rice Watch Action Network in setting up their climate information service. The climate information service provides their daily, weekly, uh, monthly, and even the seasonal forecast. Those forecasts are turned into advisories, not only to farmers, but also to the barangay folks. So you know when to wash your clothes, when to bring your umbrella, <laughs> when to plant, when to harvest, when to harvest immediately because there is an impending typhoon. The man that you see is Will, the Municipal Weather Observer of Gerona. He receives uh, weather advisories from PAGASA, which is the National Weather Agency for the Philippines. And uh, these advisories, he converts them into cloud, uh, cloud advisories that are localized for the municipality of Gerona. After he gets these, he communicates with the Municipal Technician for Agriculture and then the agriculture technician gives the farm weather advisories back to Will, who can now translate them into the local language and disseminate this information to the farmers through text messages and social media. He mentioned earlier that um, one of the ways that he's adjusting to climate change is that he shifted his cropping calendar. So before he started to plant in May, now he plants at the end of June. But how he, he was able to come up with this decision was from his own personal observations about the rain and of course the climate information services that were uh, institutionalized in the local government of Gerona. This farmer is Melchor Galapo, a graduate of the Climate Resiliency Field School of 2014, who together with other graduates formed Sembrano, the Climate Resilient Farmers Association of Sembrano Village. Thanks to the lessons learned at the school, they go beyond the simple rice production. In fact, they produce organic rice and organic fertilizer, as well as calamansi juice as an extra source of income. The reason why they did this is just uh, for them to extract uh, an alternative source of income for uh, for their livelihood, and, and they're also looking forward to learn and uh, find other ways to earn money. One of the things that they learned in the field school is how to do uh, how to produce organic fertilizer. So the local government of Herona. Uh, purchases the organic fertilizer from the Farmers Association. The local government then subsidizes this and sells this to other farmers who are not necessarily part of the association. So that way, um, the farmers in the association are also able to spread the word about organic fertilizer, organic farming to other farmers as well. Adaptation doesn't happen in the short term, it happens over the medium and long term. And therefore, it is important to pin down what are our climate challenges in the medium and in the long term. And this is exactly why we have the National Adaptation Plan under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. It is really to plan out what we will do in the medium and long term. Herona has been a good model for uh, implementing the climate uh, information services. And um, seeing their success with the help of R1, the Rice Wash Action Network, we're actually hopeful that we could um, take this model and replicate it 
in the Philippines. One day, it is really my dream that our farmers will become millionaire farmers. They're not really uh, the laggards in terms of income, but they are the progressive, resilient, and sustainable farmers of the Philippines. To see the farmers in our municipality that are being benefited from the program, it, uh, it, it inspires me. It makes me feel um, beautiful. <laughs> no, in the sense that uh, if you are inspired to work uh, and you have seen the accomplishments, positive accomplishments, and the support from, from our local government, the support from our receptive farmers, it inspires me. Thank you.